And we've talked to some folks, even on this podcast, where you know they're they're part of a, a, a company or an organization where they're trying to practice you know, social learning, bringing in subject matter experts from around their organization to help create some of the training content. The military, it's, I mean, it can be really siloed. It's, a, it's obviously a very hierarchical organization. So when you're talking about bringing together those groups, you know, particularly the, um, the, the pockets of excellence, what does that look like? How, how are you working with those groups? Um, well, on the on the curriculum development side, I mean, I got to take that in two phases because there's the part where we write the guidelines in the first place, and that's the Committee on Tactical Combat Casualty Care, or the COTSI as we call us. And it is already a gathering of SMEs who are trauma experts, trauma and combat medicine experts. So they're the ones who define what these guidelines are in the first place, the clinical practice guidelines or CPGs, whichever, whatever term you want to apply to it. I mean, generally, they publish what we call the TC3 guidelines, which is what this this curriculum is based off of. So I mean, ha them coming up with a firm, hard set, here are the guidelines, here are the requirements for what needs to be taught. Um, the next phase, the, the key is they are not educators. They, they aren't trainers, they aren't curriculum developers, they're doctors, nurses, PAs, and a lot of combat medics, you know, with a lot of ex experience in both combat and trauma. You know, so they're coming up with that guideline, but then you need people who know how to develop curriculum who also need to have levels of experience. And, and I think it was that group that, that we really tried to integrate well in that, okay, let me get people who know how to build curriculum. Let me bring in a few of these folks from the committee who know what they're talking about when it comes to being a combat medic and combat trauma um, mixed in with folks like yourselves where it's like, okay, how can we deliver this kind of content? You know. And, and bringing that group together is really, that, that was what was new here. And, and certainly new for me and new for the JTS and how we were going to try to deliver this content of, of getting the right kinds of experts in the field. You know, that, that's not to say we all agreed on every day because we, we didn't. And when the topics and the issues came up, you know, who, who, who can solve the problem and, and that kind of thing. I mean, there was, there was a lot of turmoil. And I mean, we, we felt that over, over the, the three years we've been developing all this. Um, and I think that just happens anytime you have a lot of experts come in, you know, experts in their field, you know, bring them all to, in, into one room and you're going to have some conflict, but it's good conflict because when I look at it at the end, it's like, okay, so yeah, we argued and busted heads for a while, but what do we have in the end? We have a great product for, you know, the, the users and the learners going out to the, to, to them, you know, at the other end of it. 